Did I shower at all this weekend? No, I didn't because I'm a disgusting goblin person. I am not a lady who showers without washing her hair, but I am today. I have put a metric ton of dry shampoo in my hair. I have combed it through. It doesn't feel as greasy as it did before. I am not a person who can go this long without washing my hair, but we're trying things. We're doing new things and I'm bringing you with me. So much hair. And if you're careful, you could just shower like this, but I'm not careful. I have a shower cap. It's important that you cover your entire face. Mine's weird. It's got this like rod in it. You roll it up. And now I'm ready to take a shower. But first I have to remove my makeup. I got this new foundation and it lasts all day. When I take off my makeup, you can see like look how much how much it has covered all day which is nice because i'm breaking out it just feels wrong to take a shower and not wash your hair now let's shower i have a bone to pick with you ladies how come nobody told me how much quicker it was and much less of a sensory fucking nightmare it was to shower without washing your hair here's the moment of truth is my hair still dry it's a little moisture around my hairline. I thought that you ladies who are showering with your hair up were going to get out of the shower and you were going to feel like a grease ball under here. I don't feel like a grease ball under here. I feel fine. I should have done this years ago. Not the extensions. The jury's still out on that. On showering with a shower cap in between washes. Because let's be real. I was literally just washing my hair constantly. But now I must continue my bedtime routine taking out my contacts and braiding my hair. Because that's a new thing I have to do every single night. So I would normally just go to sleep with my hair on the top of my head, just how it is right now. And I wouldn't do anything else. I'm also going to try to add in skincare into this routine because I'm not even a real lady. I don't do real skincare. I don't do anything. And I promised you guys a few weeks ago that I would try this for a week. I did it for three days and then I gave up. I'll get back to it. Not tonight, but another day. For those of you who are screaming at me that I need to wear a bonnet to bed, I hear you. I don't know if it's just the shape of my head or what, but I have a silk bonnet and it tends to like walk off of my head. And then it's like just rolling around my bed in the middle of the night. So we're gonna just try doing one very loose braid today. I did a French braid the first night, tight pigtail braids last night. And I'm going to do just one loose, regular braid tonight. And we'll see. I might sleep with a heatless curler after I wash it and dry it for the first time. But I'm not planning on washing my hair for at least a few more days if I can hold out. I'm fighting the urge actively to not fucking wash my hair. Because I want nothing more than to have clean feeling hair. But I did already oil my hair with this shit. Some hair oil i don't know oiled the ends only dry shampooed the top and let me just show you the silk bonnet i have so you can maybe help me give me some tips of what i'm doing wrong why won't it stay on my head i got pink naturally because it's cute i assume i just tuck my braid in oh lord have mercy on me should it be like so tight that it's like giving me a mild facelift i don't think so so let me know what i'm doing wrong i'll sleep with it after i hear back from you because I trust you. We're friends. You wouldn't leave me astray, right? I don't know if it's the right one. If it's the wrong one, let me know what I need to get. I'm trying very hard to do this right because you spend a pretty penny on extensions and I don't want to do it wrong. And I'm not an extension girly. I'm literally learning as I go. And some of you have had extensions and sew-ins and partial sew-ins for years and years and years. And you all know more than me. And I respect that. I don't know everything. 